Golden Shore's development was originally met with local protest, but those objections were easily circumvented with campaign donations to Planning Commission Director Steve Traeger. As coastal communities face ecological collapse and ruin, it's still reassuring to know you can get in your 18 holes. It's a kingfish in the mood, quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double bogey. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors golf.
Shark bounties became commonplace here after the previous mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark charmers proved largely ineffective. The shark's liver is large and tedious to haul around on land. Shark, get your ass out of here. Shark, the hell is it? traders come every year to Baton Tordu. Because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionless body parts than a $450 round of golf?
another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. Import this Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. and private beaches. It took weeks for our crew to earn the shark hunters' trust, to convince them we were not insurance investigators questioning their disability claims. Parties always come to fight for the weather. Poodle will carry and make sure we call the Woodle or the Despite the catfish's highly developed auditory system, lab test the hunt ends. But this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. Nature continues its work of creating balanced ecosystems here and throughout the wild world.
Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. is about saving lives, but it's also about safeguarding tourism. The fishing phenom, Candyman Curtis. displays little caution as the situation further escalates.
seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. If the shark wants to avoid intestinal injuries, she will return to the water. Gulf Coast stopped growing cotton and rice and started growing luxury vacation. Adult mangoes often feed on juvenile primarily due to a deadly combination of wage stagnation and rising child care costs. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. Unaware, the noose around its neck tightens thanks to a crack team of shark hunters.
shot back in 92. And if Cliff Gillich tell you I didn't, he'll lie. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. Big, I need a new prescription. Should have brought my fish finder. I really should get them polarized lenses.
The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. Clock would hardly be the strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Not really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything. Someone should have taken a gun safety class.
This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. In spite of their reputations as wrestlers, alligators haven't mastered the nuances of scientific holds like the figure four. The bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. Yes.
An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine tenths appetite. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Adorable, these soft stuff mascots don't provide much in the way of nutritional value.
The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. A local critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodin of the bayou. But Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodin was. Shark demonstrates. Demonstrates how they've maintained their long tenure on Earth. Bayou Brawler, the American Alligator.
grim drama plays out under the rolling waves. Bayou Buddy Stunt Show. But our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. It's sites like these that can really challenge a person's faith in endless progress and development.
Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Bounty has been put out, and now a dangerous army of lawless, trigger-happy sadists begin shooting anything that moves.
to our ocean seem overwhelming, but by working together now, we can ensure that future... Clovis is thoroughly energized by the shark menace. The Hoosier Hotshot, Ensign Tyler Dixon. I see it! This cycle of attacks will certainly be among the most infamous chapters in the long troubled history of human shark relations.
With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. natural intestinal support out of water, the shark's internal organs struggle to function.
sharks are responsible for just 3% of hunter deaths. Drugs, alcohol, and poor firearm handling account for the rest.
another danger on the water for shark hunters? Determined processors. Their boats laden with bench warrants and half a dozen.
Most shark hunters have close friends or family members who have been eaten or half eaten by sharks. The corn fed colossus, Butcher Boy Brady. Let's put down this shark, huh? Up ahead! It is too often that man views majestic beasts like the bull shark as a dangerous inconvenience. While the state of Dead Horse Lake is alarming, we can be assured that a new era of environmental stewardship will restore order to our treasured wild places. <laughs> Thank you. 
have long been favored by silent film comedians for romancing their sweeties. in their hearts. None more so than the shark hunter. The corn-fed colossus, Butcher Boy Brady. Shark obstinately digs in as the conflict escalates. is over, but the war goes on. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul.
how quickly Fort Clovis takes up arms in the name of a murderous cause. a normal part of the marine environment. Oh, I'm 
Having evaded justice for her heinous crimes, the shark is now the subject of a bounty. are actually quite high.
toast of the coast, Lieutenant Shannon Sims. That's our shark!
nature did not consider man when she made her apex predators.